once again it is my privilege and pleasure to come and spend these few moments of your time whatever the time is in your particular location everything is interconnected interdependent and interrelated all of these terms suggest a singularity of expression in terms of the differentiation of reality into its component parts. So shall we say then that the inner environment is a reflection of the outer environment and vice versa. So one lives inside of one's environmental reflections. So it is then that human consciousness is shall we say, imagining into existence the external components. So shall we say then that how one looks at the world is how one experiences the world as everything else in the same way. So if one looks at the world as if it is, shall we say, in its final steps of destruction, then of course one will respond in such a fashion. And on the internal frame, shall we say, you also experience the emotionals that align with that concept. If, however, one considers that all of these changes are necessary for the evolution of human consciousness, then you begin to welcome change in whatever fashion it is necessary for, shall we say, the, the bringing or waking up of the total human species, enough for us to begin this conversation. Thank you. Thank you, Mercredan, for being us, with us again today. How does human thinking affect the weather? Hmm. I've spoken a number of times about the fields of influence. So one lives inside, shall we say, of the consequences of beliefs, the ideas and attitudes that one holds in oneself, that influences, shall we say, others around oneself, which influences the greater field, shall we say, the social environment and the national environment and, of course, the planetary environment, which is called climate and weather conditions. So whatever you consider, whatever judgments you make will, of course, return with their, shall we say, their component of the gathering storms. So shall we say then that there is a timing of all of this. Of course, the natural 
mm, mm, patterns uh, to mm, bring something, mm, if you like, to plant a seed. Mm? The seed mm, might be a physical seed, the seed might be, mm, mm, shall we say, a mental seed, an idea mm, that begins to germinate mm, when there is mm, enough mm, sunshine, mm, that is enough light is poured upon it. Mm, uh, if it is nurtured enough, it will mm, mm, begin to grow eventually to blossom mm, and to bring about its harvest. Mm, mm, and then mm, it falls mm, towards the ground yet again to begin mm, another cycle. Mm. When mm, that is in the depths of the winter, mm, shall we say, that is mm, when one is mm, mm, re-evaluating mm, where mm, one has come to. Mm, you understand? So mm, the cycle of becoming mm, as an individual, as a society, as a family, and so on, is pertinent to the nature of the cycles within the yearly unfolding. And on, shall we say, one's day-to-day approximations. One then is casting out one's reactions and responses. So shall we say, if one begins to buy into the rhetoric, that is the stories of leaders and so on, one begins to see there is something outside of self to blame. Hmm? To, hmm? This is the reason why. This is the cause. Hmm? But it is always to, hmm, hmm, shall we say, to hmm, throw it out hmm, of responsibility. Hmm? In the end, hmm, shall we say, what is hmm, the nature of recycling? Hmm? It is hmm, to take care of one's wastage, hmm? that is to hmm, hmm, be responsible for one's own hmm, hmm, inner world, hmm? so that one is not casting out and throwing out into the world hmm, things that belong hmm, to oneself. Hmm? Does this hmm, begin to shed some light on our subject. It does, thank you. So what sort of thinking affects climate? Is it only thoughts about the weather or the climate change that, change that affect climate? Not at all. It is always the things that one is experiencing. Let us say, for example, because I want to say the climate, that is the external weather patterns, are not separate from the financial disruptions. So shall we say when one begins to take out of circulation that which keeps things into balance and allows all to prosper, then you will find the weather patterns following suit. So you take it out of circulation, the weather begins to disrupt the circulation. That is, so your fruit and your vegetables are not fed. So you understand it is not that you can deal with something separate. If something is, shall we say, in pain or in suffering, it will cause, shall we say, 
let us call it a blow out into the world. It is like a rolling cloud that moves out into the world and then one gains the responses that are connected to that outburst, if you like, then shall we say the hurricanes are brought into being by the amount of depression that is being felt in the world. All of that is brought about by the management of the social order. The social order is managed by the financial stresses and the financial stresses interfere with all the relationships. They interfere with production. All of this is connected to the climate crisis. So one does not have a crisis as per one thing without all of the others following suit. And it all emerges from within the collective. So shall we say when there is, shall we talk about disparity and dislike and criticism of others, one is automatically affecting the whole. Do you follow what I am saying? So then we should say that whatever thoughts one has causes a charge in one system. It causes the emotions to be stirred. And that is what affects the fields of influence, which are particles, if you like, more like... Because when you talk about waves and particles and so forth, it does not quite mm, capture mm, the energetics mm, of consciousness. Mm. So science mm, wants to make things into physicalities, mm, but physicalities is the end mm, 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 of a, mm, shall we say, a, mm, mm, a fall through the mm, mm, rates of mm, vibrations, that is the frequencies mm, as it begins to slow from, mm, shall we call it the blueprints. Mm. So the blueprints mm, are mm, the cause mm, and the, mm, mm, the, mm, the wave patterns mm, come from the emotional mm, responses which mm, ultimately mm, form mm, mm, the mm, patterns within the climate. In other words, mm, when some mm, 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 of the mm, total, that is the mm, human species, shall we say, have not enough, mm, then you will find there will be drought, not enough. And when there is oversupply, then you will find oversupply. Then you will find floods and storms and so forth. Does that make sense? It does. And you've mentioned that drought is a representation of not enough floods oversupply and we've got um, hurricanes being brought about by depression. Is there a specific um, spiritual energy for every single individual natural disaster? Mm. All mm, events 
that arise from within consciousness. Remember this, that human species is the highest component of of awake consciousness. I want to say everything is a part of the whole of consciousness, but humans have choice of where to put their conscious frameworks, their conscious ideas. So it is truly important that one sees that every aspect of the creation is designed to awaken consciousness in the species, to bring about, shall we say, an evolution in consideration for others and other species and, and other mm, mm, parts of the whole creation. That is, mm, that humankind is brought mm, to being mm, mm, aware of its mm, responsibility mm, to, mm, mm, to build, mm, shall we say, mm, an aligned consciousness for unfolding. So then what you call difficulties are not at all, they are lessons. One is posed, shall we say, a question in the examination. The question is not a simple, easy, that anybody could answer. It is a question that one answers because one has learned and one has, shall we say, taken in the concepts and now one is putting it into operation as one's individual mm, 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 purpose. Does this follow? Do you understand what I'm saying? So there is not a single mm, mm, thing, not a single mm, particular mm, thought or idea that mm, causes mm, such things, nor is there some sort of spiritual purpose. It is an awakening to the responsibilities one has as a co-creator of the collective universe. This might explain then why individuals mm, are often not affected mm, when mm, all around them mm, is in disarray mm, because the consciousness mm, is mm, offering mm, mm, something mm, to mm, bring mm, shall we call it a peaceful solution. So shall we say peaceful solutions arise when a person is peaceful. Yes. So you cannot, shall we say, particularly try to make everyone else change their perspective. Nature itself will carry that out whether or not there is anyone in its pathway. So when you put your own attitudes in alignment with the divine 
concept of bring peace and well-being, then you automatically bring that into the patterns and the, the shifting patterns of the climate response. Such things then will affect the, the field of influence as it stands. But until there is, shall we say, a greater energy to bring such patterns to a close, the weather will continue to cause disruption. It is disruption in the supply. Do you follow what I mean? If there is a big enough disruption in the supply, then there is no further need of storms and external disruption. Does this make some sort of sense? Mm -hmm. It does, thank you. Can we ask if the weather events world, are worldwide or are they local, specific to local situations? Mm. Mm. Shall we say they are both at the same time. In other words, there are localised events as is possible to perceive. And there are shall we say, more general events, that is, they are more distributed and yet still localised. So shall we say the whole is influenced, but shall we say when one place is in storm, another is in peace, that is, one has respite time to review. And then, shall we say, if there is no change, then another period of influence. I want to say this, controversially, that is. There was... I have referred in the past to the book of instruction. I want to say this is not a, a religious comment. It is a comment about prophecy. Prophecy is to suggest changes to attitudes. So in the book of instruction, it talks as if, if one is, shall we say, praising what is called in the old days a false god, then you will bring destruction to the land and the destruction will be famine, floods and droughts, exactly what has occurred. So while we can see it is a book of instruction and that we have created exactly what was predicted, then the only question left is, hmm, to what false god hmm, have we hmm, bowed to? Do you follow what I mean? Hmm? Hmm. So the religious community would have it that it is hmm, individual others, not hmm, self. Hmm. But hmm, they are hmm, also at the forefront hmm, of the destructions that have arrived. The idea here is 
there is a vengeful God taking out, extracting from the people. And yet that allows you not to acknowledge that you are the co-creators of the experience. There is no external God punishing anybody. You are bringing it on your own heads in order for to learn responsibility to the garden. Do you follow what I'm saying? So if one elevates one's views, as it were, one can often watch what is happening and yet somehow it carves around oneself. It is not affecting one's own abilities. Whatever effects one has, then it is to look at what am I holding on to? What in my own attitudes and discriminations? What thoughts and blame and shame am I holding on to that brings this into my experience? Do you follow what I mean? So it is the divine offering its service. Of course, there is the consideration because human beings have truly only one concept that life ceases at the end of one's earthly sojourn. And while one holds to that, no matter what else one is saying, one can believe all sorts of other things. One can pretend that there is an eternal, but if you are holding on to the physical life as if it is the only point, then you cannot mm, understand mm, the integration of all things. Does this follow? Mm? If there is then mm, a continuation, if mm, mm, life mm, is mm, the awakening to consciousness, whether you are mm, in form, mm, or beyond form, there is an ongoing relationship with consciousness. And one, even at that point in the early stages, shall we say, one can even influence the cosmic field. The cosmic field interacts with the galactic field, interacts with the solar field, interacts with the planetary field, interacts with the patterns within that, that is, the climate. And it's the fields that surround your planet that keep everything in order. That is the magnetic fields and the, 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 the atmospheric 
fields because the patterns occur at a higher frequency than simply earthbound experience. That is what I have to say on that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So um, we've talked about this before, but I'm right in assuming that the global natural catastrophes are on the rise, and that's because we're leading towards, well, precipitating more of a global wake-up. Is that correct? Mm. Shall we say mm, mm, one has more knowledge, mm, there is more mm, interconnection that mm, occurs, mm, first of all, mm, as I have pointed out in the past, mm, the field of influence mm, used originally to be mm, mm, neighbour to neighbour, traveller to traveller, the minstrels and so forth. Mm, then, mm, shall we say, one mm, mm, had the mm, horse and cart and, the, mm, mm, and then the telegraph. Mm, and then the telephone, and then the television, and so on. So now one has immediate interaction. One can see what is occurring at any place upon the planetary surface. However, the field of influence always moves towards the most dramatic. What point is there to share that you're having a lovely day with a beautiful sunny time and nothing is out of the ordinary? That is not going to gain attention. So humankind has become addicted to attention and so forth, and such attention brings with it dramatic responses. In order for something to gain attention, one has to increase the dramatic content. Do you follow what I mean? And so humankind plays a game with itself, who can bring the most dramatic to the table and so forth. Now you want to watch even stronger lightning storms, hurricanes, cyclones and so forth. One even goes out in one's cars to look for them and to drive into it to gain the greatest impact. But what is not so clear is the very thoughts and ideas increase the power of the storm. Do you follow what I mean? Now you are integrally important mm, as part of the everlasting mm, dramatic response. Mm. So is it any wonder that there are more of them mm, turning up? Do you follow what I am saying? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So there is a, mm, the mm, interaction, that is the interrelationship mm, and the inter dependence, one's involvement is bringing more to the experience. Okay. So shall we say there is more and more desire for more and more 
intensity. Mm. Yeah. And of course, with that, there is more and more charge and more and more divisions. Mm. Divisions cause, shall we say, rapid changes in pressure. Rapid changes in pressure cause stronger winds. The winds cause greater damage, more and more attention, and now it is circulating. Now you have a cyclone as it gains more and more intensity, more and more attention. Do you follow what I mean? Yeah, so it's not necessarily the fact that it precipitates the wake up and that's what we're going through as part of the shift in consciousness. It's also because we are focusing on this and we have a desire for more drama or an intensity and the cyclical patterns happen mm. from there. Of course, everything is interconnected. So whatever, and this is the greatest difficulty for evolved spirituality, that is to stay calm amongst the storm. You understand when there is, shall we call it, a fight going on, a dispute going on, hmm? to stay calm. Hmm? That is not to stay out of the dispute, but to stay calm within it. Hmm? So one brings hmm, a calmness, shall we say, hmm, an energetic hmm, hmm, lowering of the tensions, lowering of the pressures, hmm? And so the gathering storm clouds within consciousness begin to dissipate and there is greater willingness to hear different perspectives and so the patterns of the weather do not arrive as predicted. And so one has often experienced that there is a prediction that does not bear out in reality. This concept was brought into the into the mental field many years ago is the idea that if many people meditate together, they influence the fields around them. That is so true. If many people meditate together, it also affects the gathering storms. That is both in the weather patterns and in the social and political and environmental fields of influence. They then, shall we say, physical manifestation becomes less violent. Interesting. Thank you for that. Um, Shall we say that violence breeds violence? Mm -hmm. And so mm, mm, patterns mm, that are, mm, shall we say, brought to bear mm, mm, are not, mm, shall we say, random. Mm -hmm. They mm, mm, always target mm, mm, where mm, the energy is coming from. So in one way, they point to the 
true mm, mm, perpetrators. Often you are mm, told mm, in your mm, media that there is a certain perpetrator, mm, but when you watch the weather mm, patterns, mm, you can see mm, where it truly is. Where is it coming from? Mm -hmm. Then, mm, shall we say, mm, once... Mm, this would be understood, mm, there would be no hiding. Mm? Mm. Then you would have mm, mm, a greater understanding mm, mm, of mm, what is mm, happening in the world mm, and what one has to do mm, to mm, truly mm, mm, come together mm, as a collective mm, to address the imbalances. Can I ask, um, some people say that the sun has more influence on climate change or climate variations than carbon dioxide emissions. Can you comment on this, please? Mm. Mm. The solar centre of influence, that is, mm, mm, the solar mm, system as such, is mm, 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 the container of the planetary mm, mm, field. Mm. So, shall we say, it has mm, mm, a greater mm, mm, influence mm, with less intensity. In other words, what mm, comes up from the ground mm, has a greater mm, mm, localised intensity, mm, but it is never free mm, of the mm, mm, solar influence. Mm. So, shall we say, the solar influence is mm, mm, directly connected mm, to the spirituality mm, that is, it provides light. Mm, it provides mm, the mm, opportunity mm, to see into the darkness. Mm. The, mm, the other, the mm, carbon mm, mm, is, mm, shall we say, the trap. Mm. So it... Mm, mm, Blankets, shall we say, it diffuses the light mm, and traps the heat. Mm. You understand the solar mm, influence, of course, is mm, building up within the trap mm, caused mm, by human mm, denials. Mm. That is, mm, that the... Mm, 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 the diffusion mm, that is particular and so on mm, of the light mm, mm, is not shining mm, as it should, mm, not illuminating mm, mm, underneath mm, the surface. Mm, do you follow what I mean? Mm, so it is mm, always, mm, so we call it mm, metaphor because mm, the whole mm, creation is still mm, a creation. It is a co-creation mm, of intensity brought mm, from the mm, mm, whole mm, mm, within the field that it influences. Mm, do you follow what I'm saying? Mm? So, mm, shall we? Say so if one wants mm, to mm, alter the balance, then one has first of all mm, to remove mm, mm, the blockages to insight, mm? and that is mm, well, in this mm, particular case what you are calling mm, mm, climate gases, whether they mm, are. 
carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, nitrogens, and the components of those materials, whether it is various forms of other gases and methanes and so forth. You understand all of those are distortions to shining light. And so there are many, shall we call them teachers, that shining lights, but they are designed to cover up. There is so much to be understood if one takes, shall we say, a little bit of time to put your attention, your consciousness onto a subject and to truly consider it and consider what beliefs and attitudes you already hold in that realm. Do you understand what I'm saying? It is align oneself with the light of understanding. Thank you. As a key, in this regard, as a key, you will not have an emotional response to it. It will be clean and clear. This is what is now all I have to ask is what should I in my personal addition to the collective what should I do to make it more clear for myself do you follow what I'm saying so you are mm. responsible for your mm, additions mm, to the discussion itself. If mm, you see that mm, mm, the sun mm, is bringing mm, mm, consciousness, light and mm, life mm, to this planet, mm, you will welcome it mm, as you can and withdraw all of the fogs that you are putting in place with your attitudes and ideas particularly those that project out into the environment something that truly belongs to yourself. Okay. Thank you. Can you talk to us about what influence chemtrails have on climate, nature and humanity? There is a lot mm, mm, said about mm, such trails, as if mm, someone has mm, the mm, willingness, the financial ability and mm, the technology mm, to mm, mm, create all of this mm, way up in the sky mm, when they could do it far more mm, effectively, far cheaper mm, on the ground. Mm? Do you understand? Mm, such mm, mm, trails as they are, are simply a result mm, of the interaction between mm, one thing and another. Mm? In other words, mm, the very nature or notion mm, of mm, travel at speed, mm, which everyone mm, truly likes, mm, has a result that 
certain times within the mm, natural environment mm, will leave mm, 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 descriptions of where they have been. Mm. In a place then where there is mm, multitudes of mm, mm, aeroplanes and travel and so on, mm, there will often be many mm, such trails mm, and in other places mm, hardly any at all. Mm. So it is mm, mm, where does one find that? Of course, over mm, cities and mm, accumulations mm, of mm, industrial and military sites. Mm. And so mm, then mm, all of such trails mm, are mm, evidence mm, of mm, the mm, enemy is spying, the enemy is attempting to mm, poison everyone and on it goes. Mm. I want to say, mm, take away mm, all of the fears mm, of your being. Mm and begin to recognize that you have a responsibility for your beliefs and their outcomes. Ask yourself, if I am choosing to believe this, what effect does it have on my consciousness and on my neighbour. If I am sitting in, they are poisoning me, I have first of all chosen a they. Now I have an enemy to focus my angers and resentments and so on, instead of looking at myself. So that is, of course, the challenge mm, that human species mm, contains mm, at this moment of transition mm, into the new mm, mm, reality, that is mm, mm, the shift of perception. Mm? Do you understand what I'm saying? We have talked so much about a shift in perception and this is primary to it that one understands the nature of the fields of influence. This is truly what is called the quantum world in its true consideration. It is energetic. It is, shall we say, influential effects held together as if by glue by other different qualities. They can be so much understood in the, as shall we say, the nature of the physical reality begins to be broken into its components, that is, into its energetic components that arise within the structure of time and space. Thank Enough you. said. That is deep. Enough <laughs> said. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, so if climate change is the consequence of my belief, then can I reverse it by altering my beliefs? And do I have the right to reverse it since the majority have seemingly come to believe that it is changing? Hmm. What a good question. Mm. Mm. You understand, mm, 
you can continue on the same beliefs or you can change them. It is not to change them for a result. It is simply to change them because that is pertinent to the desire, shall we say, to serve the whole. Serving the whole means serving others. You understand you are not going to affect the whole, you are going to affect the local, that is, your personal environment. So it is immediately beneficial to self and it is beneficial to the collective. And when one puts one's attention on the benefit to the collective, then you find yourself in a more powerful system. There is others within the collective that will support your choices. Our final question for today is how can we as individuals manage our thoughts more practically? First of all, one has to discover what they are. Discovering what they are is reading the responses from the environment. Whatever it is that you wish to attract, everyone has these wishes to for fulfillment, whatever one wishes to attract will manifest in alignment with the beliefs that you hold. So if it unobstructedly creates, then there is no defining barrier to that. However, if it does not appear, then one has something in the way. If one simply begins to delve not into why things happen, but delve into the position, how do I make this happen? How is it that I am the total creator of my experience that I am having this experience? And what if I were to remove the ideas that hold it into solidity? then my experience will alter and I will discover, shall we say, a new set of ideas. When you are comfortable with the results, then you are comfortable with your belief system at the time. That might change in the future, but it you are, have learned how to align yourself with one's place, shall we say, in the unending, the eternal discovery in consciousness. So shall we say it is about reading the reflections, recognizing that there is a mirror. And I believe we will talk even more about this in our next encounter, shall we say, because we are going to talk about relationships. And this is the most 
important aspect. I want to say this. When you come together with others of like mind, in your meditations, in your group alignments, simply put into place. May the patterns of our climate in our local area align with what is best for the people, the plants, the land and the other sentient beings that we share this delightful planet with. Do you follow what I'm saying? So you are not asking for your own benefit, but it is going to benefit you, but you are asking for the benefit of all consent, and that is always the most, the highest thing you can ask for that which will benefit the most. Mm -hmm. So thank you for your time as we let go of this particular framework. So thank you and good Day as it were, wherever you are. Thank you. Thank you.